battery draining and aging is pretty much inevitable and it will come after some time. However, here I have some tips and tricks for improvement of the battery life on your Samsung Galaxy A36 5G so that you can slow down the process of battery aging. First and foremost, we want to go to settings and open battery as of course this is the most essential um, menu that help you prevent battery aging or at least slow it down so that the battery doesn't age as fast as perhaps usually. So what you can do, of course we have the power saving option which doesn't have to be used all the time but it is recommended to use it from time to time especially if you care about saving the battery in a specific moment. It doesn't hurt the battery uh, to use the power saving option, it just turns off some resources in order to uh, keep the battery for longer so it doesn't really affect the battery in a negative way but at the same time there is really no point of having this option always enabled you can simply uh, turn off some features and options in order to um, to slow down the battery draining but before we actually move on to the next step over here in the same settings we also have these three dots where we can find adaptive power saving and this is something that i can also recommend this allows the phone to learn the pattern of how you use your phone when you use it how you use it and what you do with your phone throughout the days and based on that information after some time the phone will automatically turn on the power saving mode when the phone will decide that this is a good moment and good opportunity to actually use the battery saver of course you can still manually turn off the power saving mode if you want to um, but this phone just decides for you what is the best moment to enable and later on disable the power saving mode so definitely worth trying and in addition to that, you can decide what should happen when what should happen when you use the power saving mode. So of course we can decrease the performance, we can limit the CPU speed, but also we can disable always on display, decrease the brightness, and so on and so forth. So besides that, over here we also have the battery protection, and you should, you definitely should use at least the basic protection. The basic protection allows you to charge the battery normally 200% but if you keep the charger on if you keep charging the phone then the phone will stop charging once it reaches 100% and then when it drops down to 95% again it will start charging again so if you tend to plug the phone to, to the charger and leave it like that for even a couple of hours um, or if you, for example, charge at night when you are sleeping, then this is something that you should definitely do. There is also, of course, adaptive mode, which is even better because this allows the phone to stop charging at 80%, especially when you are sleeping. So if you really tend to charge your phone only when you are sleeping, mainly when you are sleeping, then definitely switch to adaptive. And this limits the battery charging up to 80% like I said but mostly only when you are sleeping if you are using your phone on a daily basis throughout the day etc and you decide to charge at some point for example in the afternoon or something then the battery should not be charged to 80% but normally to 100% so you still have the option to charge to the full 100% um, but in certain scenarios where you tend to leave the charger on for couple of hours um, then this is the exact moment where the battery will stop charging and of course when you are about to wake up the battery should be charged normally 200 percent and there is also the maximum battery protection which is the, just a hard limit um, the cap of battery charging which allows you to charge to 80 percent or up to 95 percent so you set up the limit now there is also a tip regarding charging the battery of the phone and that applies actually to pretty much every smartphone nowadays and that is that you should charge to 80% and not more. Of course um, you still can charge to 100% and essentially nothing really wrong will happen but it will slow down if you, uh, if you will, if you limit um, the battery uh, charging to for example 80% then you will definitely slow down the battery aging process So why 80% just this is just how batteries are built nowadays 80% is like the most optimal percentage for the battery 
and if you drop down the percentage to 20% then this is on the other hand the good moment to start charging. So essentially you want to keep the percentage of the battery between 20 and 80%. And of course if it is inconvenient then feel free to either increase the limit to something higher or just switch to either adaptive or basic. So this is only for those that really don't mind um, the limit set to for example 80%. Of course, battery settings are just one thing. Um, there are a couple of more things that you can do on the phone in order to um, to slow down the battery draining and battery aging process. And that is, for example, disabling always on display. It is really resourceful and it will drain the battery faster than if you don't use uh, always on display. We also have, for example, the screen brightness and technically the lower the brightness, the less battery is used. Um, so you can either use adaptive brightness or just decrease the brightness of the screen manually. And you have to remember that some processes, some actions that you do on your phone can just speed up the battery draining. Of course, this is just like um, during or when you use the phone. So for example, like watching videos and playing games, etc. These are natural things that will um, that will drain the battery. But um, but if you do this all the time, then of course this may have some negative impacts on the battery. As um, if you do this all the time, then the battery will eventually just be drained quicker and quicker and quicker. And if you use, for example, like animated or live wallpapers, this can also drain the battery. Most likely they will. So you have to keep that in mind. You need to ask yourself if you prefer to have battery for longer or if you prefer to have fancy tools on your phone. You should also consider, for example, switching to the dark mode or you can create the scheduled dark mode. This also helps battery aging. And for example, we also have the screen timeout. So this is the time of inactivity after which the screen will turn off. I believe by default, this option is set to 30 seconds. So if you didn't change anything, then you are fine. But if you tend to keep it for longer, then of course this also has a negative impact on battery draining. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.